Beneath these mountains lies a secret. Over 300 feet underground, deeper than the height of the Statue of Liberty, Iran built the Fordo nuclear facility. It's an underground megaproject shrouded in rock and reinforced concrete, a uranium enrichment center so well buried it's considered Iran's best sheltered nuclear site. Cut to a shadowy hangar, a massive munition is being loaded. This 30,000-pound giant is the USGBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator, the Pentagon's ultimate bunker buster. Its mission, to do what no other conventional weapon can. Two titans of engineering, an unbreakable underground bunker, and the world's most powerful non-nuclear penetrator. Can it actually break the unbreakable? Can one weapon shatter Fordo's fortress? America's GBU-57AB Massive Ordnance Penetrator. Weight 30,000 pounds of steel and explosive, a 20-foot spear of a weapon. Payload, over 5,000 pounds of specialized, high explosive, packed into a hardened steel casing. Penetration, tested to drill through up to 60 meters of concrete or 40 meters of hard rock before detonation. Guided by GPS and inertia, it strikes with meter-level precision. Its smart fuse can actually sense empty space and delay the blast until the bomb is deep inside a target chamber. A cutting-edge void-sensing technology designed to outsmart underground layouts. In short, the MPOP is a colossal, precision-guided bunker buster, built to burrow down and destroy what lies below. On the other side, the bunker, Iran's Fordow fuel enrichment plant. Depth, buried around 80 to 90 meters beneath a mountain, about 260 to 300 feet. By far, Iran's deepest underground nuclear site. Protection, encased in ancient granite-hard bedrock and shielded by thick layers of reinforced concrete. Its halls and centrifuges sit like a bunker within a bunker, with multiple concrete liners protecting vital areas. Fordow wasn't just dug into a mountain, it was engineered to survive. The surrounding geology, limestone, dolomite, basalt, is tougher than ordinary concrete. Builders likely reinforce the plant against earthquakes, too. The site lies near active fault lines, meaning the structure can absorb shocks and vibrations that would shatter a lesser bunker. Above ground, the area is guarded and discreetly hidden, originally an IRGC military base, providing military-grade concealment and defense. For Do is in essence a vault designed to defy destruction by any conventional means. It's the ultimate matchup, the US Bunker Buster versus the Iranian Bunker. The GBU-57 MOP represents the peak of US Bunker Busting tech, while Fordo represents the pinnacle of Iran's bunker building prowess. But how deep is too deep even for America's biggest non-nuclear tech? A B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber the only aircraft capable of deploying the 30,000-bound massive ordnance penetrator, cuts across the sky. From 50,000 feet up, the mop is dropped toward its target, gaining tremendous speed and kinetic energy as it plummets earthward. Impact. In a fraction of a second, the six-meter-long penetrator punches into the ground at supersonic velocity. Its hardened nose and alloy steel body let it bore through soil, rock, and concrete like a giant jackhammer. Each layer it hits slows it slightly, but the bunker buster's momentum and design keep it intact, driving deeper and deeper. The mop's secret is its delayed smart fuse. As it crashes through layers of Fordo's defenses, sensors in the fuse feel when the bomb has entered a protected chamber or void. Only then, deep inside the target, does it ignite its massive 5,300-bound warhead, unleashing a devastating underground shock, a detonation designed to collapse the facility from within. But Fordo's structure fights back. The first barrier is nature itself, tons of solid rock. The mountain's sheer density eats up energy. Shockwaves from the Bunker Buster's blast dissipate in these unforgiving geological layers. Fordo's engineers also added man-made defenses. 
multi-layered concrete shells likely encase critical halls. Even if the penetrator breaks one ceiling, another barrier might lie below. Inside, equipment could be mounted on shock absorbers, and pillars of high-strength concrete and steel add further cushioning. The surrounding bedrock isn't uniform either. It's fractured by ages of tectonic stress. Those cracks and angles can deflect a penetrating warhead off its ideal path, much like a ricochet, reducing the depth it can reach. And because Fordo was built to withstand earthquakes and bombardment, its in total structures are extraordinarily resilient. Even a partial shock might not cripple the whole site. Some portions could survive or be quickly repaired. This is an engineering showdown in every sense. Extreme kinetic force versus extreme structural fortification. The MOP was designed to collapse tunnels and smash bunkers in a single blow, but Fordow was designed to be unbreachable, even by the most advanced bunker busters. Semple believe the MOP stands a chance where all other ordnance fails. Yet some experts caution that one MOP alone might still not be enough to destroy Fordo's deepest chambers. It might take not just enormous power, but also pinpoint strategy or even multiple hits to crack this vault. So, can one bomb outthink a bunker built to defeat it? Can a single massive ordnance penetrator really bring down Iran's deepest underground nuclear site? Or is Fordo simply too deep, too hardened, to fall? The answer will pit physics against fortitude, and the outcome remains uncertain. Only the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber can deliver the massive 30,000-pound MOP unnoticed. Carrying just two internally, it must navigate Iran's sophisticated radar defenses, relying on stealth, terrain masking, and electronic countermeasures. Yet, Precise GPS guidance leaves it vulnerable. One jam signal could mean complete mission failure, even if stealth succeeds. Can precision remain uncompromised? The smallest miscalculation, the wrong angle or timing, can cause the Gibu 57 feature to deflect off reinforced rock layers or prematurely detonate, leaving Fordow partially intact and repairable. Failure risks global credibility and showcases the weapon's limitations. Is there even a realistic plan B if America's most powerful bunker buster isn't enough? The global decision, why the U.S. holds back. Despite capability, the U.S. hesitated in 2019, recognizing that diplomatic fallout far outweighed the engineering success. A strike on Fordow risks severe geopolitical repercussions rupturing alliances, and destabilizing global peace, is destroying one underground nuclear site, worth triggering a diplomatic chain reaction. The Bunker Buster Race The global tech competition, while the US currently dominates the underground penetration field with the 30,000-pound GBU-57 MOP, rivals aren't far behind. Israel, facing constant threats and geopolitical pressure, is rapidly investing in powerful deep penetration munitions, tailored specifically for heavily fortified facilities across the Middle East. Europe, uneasy about relying solely on American tech, has discreetly launched research into advanced penetrators through joint programs led by Germany, France, and the UK, aiming to secure strategic autonomy. Meanwhile, China's rapid military modernization now includes ambitious bunker penetration projects. Recent satellite imagery reveals China testing large, precision-guided penetrators designed to counter deeply buried command centers in Asia, hinting at a formidable challenge to American dominance. With America's forthcoming B-21 Raider set to elevate its bunker-busting capabilities even further, a global technological race is intensifying, rapidly. Fordo continues operating, emphasizing limits on current penetrating technology. But innovation never stops. Laser drilling, AI-guided munitions, and drone swarms might soon redeflame bunker penetration strategies. Beyond engineering marvels and defense tech, one vital question remains. 
What happens when multiple nations possess the power to neutralize the most protect underground facilities on Earth? Will it stabilize global security or push us into a new era of high-stakes defense escalation? Leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Should nations pursue this devastating technology or is humanity better off rethinking defense altogether? Comment, share, and let's start the conversation. If you found this deep dive fascinating, hit subscribe right now and join our community of millions exploring the world's most incredible engineering mega projects.